Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Thursday where we break down the real world IT support issues one ticket at a time. And today in this episode, we are going to talk about one of the biggest troublemakers in the workplace. So can you guess which one is it? If you have guessed printers, then you're right. So in this episode, we are going to talk about the most common printer issues in the workplace. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to simulate the ticketing system today with all of the printer issues. And the tickets in here are very similar to what I've encountered in the workplace. Alright, so let's get started with the first ticket. And since all of them have medium priority, it is up to our judgment on which ticket should we do first. And based on the tickets here, I usually go with the easiest to fix or close first to get it out of the way. And based on the issues in here and the summary, this issue printer out of ink is one of the easiest that we can resolve. So let's open the ticket. Okay, so the user left the description printer running out of ink in office near entrance and the host name is printer1. So this is a good ticket because they provided the location, they provided more specifics like device name. We have the printer1 in here and it's very straightforward and you really don't need follow-up questions for this because you have all the information that you need. So I chose to do this ticket first because this is the easiest issue to diagnose among the printer issues because usually the printer will say it's out of ink or out of toner and the user can just see that error message and they would know what the problem is. So here are the steps to fix the printer out of ink issue. You can open the printer and inspect the cartridge and then replace or reseat the cartridge and then power cycle the printer. And pro tip, always have backup cartridge ready, especially in shared office printers. Okay, so once you have replaced the toner, you can respond to the ticket. Hello, I've replaced the toner and tested that it's now printing properly. Make sure to test the printer if it's printing properly before closing the ticket because sometimes even if you just replace the toner there would still be issues like it's not heated properly or it's a broken toner or something else so now that we have tested it we can close this ticket now okay so let's choose another ticket in here they're all medium so the one that we can do next is printer not working this is probably impacting some of the people's work so let's open this and see if there's more information from the users so the user said we have a printer down in the office it's one used primarily by the manager is there someone who could please come down to take a look at what the issue is it is not printing i have unplugged it and reset it but that didn't work there is no er error message on the printer to tell me what the issue is so if the printer is completely unresponsive you can start with the basics so you can check is it plugged into the power outlet is the power switch on you can also try another outlet and check for any visible error lights or messages also if it's a network printer you can also check if the ethernet cable is plugged in and then reseat the cable so i'll tell you what happened when our user reported this issue when I was checking all of the basics, I noticed that the Ethernet port on the printer is not lighting up, so I checked if it was plugged in or it might be a bad cable. But it was plugged into the wrong jack because there's four Ethernet jack by the printer. They said they tried unplugging cable so they plugged it in the wrong jack and it caused the issue. It was an easy fix once properly diagnosed and after I plugged it back into the correct jack, the Ethernet port on the printer lights up again and I checked the network settings and it's back online. So here's how I checked it on an HP printer. I went to settings then networking, then ethernet, and I selected TCP IP and IPv4 settings. Okay, so now that we have fixed this printer, we can respond to the user now. Hello, the printer has been fixed now. Then you can also tell them what the issue was. The wrong ethernet port 
was used to plug in the cable that's why it's showing offline sometimes it just lets them understand what's going on but it's okay also if you don't go into very technical details with them you can also add I've tested printing from it it should be all set now and then you can go ahead and send and close the ticket okay so we are left with four more printer issues in here we can do the printer shows offline okay so the user reported that i'm trying to print but my printer shows offline so this is also a common printer issue that you might encounter when you're working in it so this is a classic one offline often just means the computer can't communicate with the printer so here are the steps to troubleshoot this issue you can restart the printer or the computer make sure it's connected to the network the wi-fi or ethernet you can go to the printer queue click on printer and make sure that use printer offline is unchecked okay so once you have fixed the issue you can say the printer is now back online and i've tested printing and it works now let me know if there's any other issues so just make sure if you are working on printers make sure to always test it after you think you've fixed it because sometimes even if you do all the fixing some sometimes it still won't print so just make sure that you test it first before closing the ticket or telling the users that it's all fixed okay so let's move on to the next issue printer doesn't show up on the network okay so I'm trying to print, but the printer is not showing up when I search for it. Usually for network printers, you just type in the name and it will show all of the printers available in your network. But if you're getting this issue, it usually points to a network or sharing issue. So to fix this issue, the easiest way to diagnose the cause is to ping the printer IP address to test connectivity and see if the printer is online or offline. Okay, so the first thing that you can do and an easy way to test if the printer is on the network and it is shared, you can do a ping and ping the host name or the IP address of the printer. For example, 192.168.4.5 and of course, if it responds, it means that it's online and it's shared on the network. If it's timing out, it's probably offline or not shared properly or not connected to the correct network so if you can't ping the printer what you can try next is to check the printer's ip address by printing a network configuration page from the printer settings so on most printers you can find reports and then go to configuration or status page and then select configuration page then select ok and it'll print you the network configuration page then you can check in here if your printer has the correct IP address. Okay, so we can respond to the ticket. Hello, thanks for reporting this issue. The printer is now showing up on the network. I've also tested it and it's printing properly. Thank you. And let me know if it doesn't work for you and then you can send this ticket or can do a pending wait for user for example to just wait for their confirmation that it's working on their end before you close the ticket okay so let's go to another printer issue printer not printing stock in queue okay the user said it looks like there is a job stock in the queue so this issue is also very common with printers and users will commonly see this if they are printing all at the same time or there's a lot of people printing at once sometimes the queue gets stuck with all of the print jobs this can be cleared up really quickly but a lot of the users sometimes don't have access to do this or they are not that technically proficient to do this and will ask it's help 
So one fix you can try is to open the print queue and cancel all the jobs for that specific printer having issue. So one way to do this is to right click on the printer, select see what's printing and a window will open and just right click on the documents and select cancel to cancel all the jobs. And a pro tip, some files can clog the queue if they are corrupted so try printing a different document. Okay, so let's respond to the ticket once you have fixed it. Hello, the printer queue has been cleared and I've tested that it can print now. Can you test on your end, please? And then you can do a wait or pending for user to wait for their confirmation that it's working on their end. Okay, so let's move on to the last printer issue for this episode. This is printer printing random characters. The user said, try restarting the printer, but it's still printing random characters. Okay, so this is also very, very common when you are dealing with printers. You have probably encountered this a lot. And this is usually from a driver mismatch or a corrupted print job. So one way to fix this is to make sure that the correct driver is installed. So one way to do this is to go to your print server and search for print management. And the print management window will open and then right click on the printer. Select properties. Go to advanced tab and you will see that there is a driver drop down menu in here and you can select the correct driver. Other fixes you can try is to try printing as PDF and then delete and re-add the printer and also reset the print spooler just like I showed you earlier. And also a pro tip, this can also happen if you accidentally send a print job to a generic text only driver. Okay, so if you have fixed this ticket, we can respond to the user now. Hello, the printer driver has been updated to fix this issue. Can you please test on our end? Okay, and we can wait for the user to respond first. Okay, so that would be it for the printer issues for Ticket Thursday. I hope this video can help you handle printer issues next time when you encounter it. And also let me know if there's any other printer issue that's common that I might have missed in this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope to see you guys in my next videos. I hope that you learned something and see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.